Hello students, welcome to RD Chemistry. In this video, we will discuss briefly about equilibrium constant Kc. Consider reaction A moles of reactant A reacts with the B moles of B is in equilibrium with the C moles of C and D moles of D. Then how do I write down equilibrium constant Kc? C stands for concentration term is equal to product concentration divided by reactant concentration and number of moles become the powers of the concentration term into concentration d to the power d divided by concentration a to the power a into concentration b to the power b it is okay if it is a solid involved then the concentration of solid should be taken as equal to 1 according to IUPAC okay then how do you calculate or write down the concentration term. The concentration is nothing but you know that generally it is molarity. Molarity is equal to number of moles of that given substance divided by volume in terms of liters. Okay. Suppose they don't mention about the volume, then consider that volume is equal to 1 liter. Otherwise, they'll mention in the question. Right. If I got A becomes a B is in equal with B, okay, some hypothetical equation and say B gives uh, say C gas, then overall reaction is uh, A giving uh, B, yes sir, A giving C, okay, these are the gases. If I take for the first one, first step K1, equilibrium constant K1, for the second step equilibrium constant is uh, say K2, I want to find out what is the equilibrium constant k for the final third equation? It is always equal to risk is a product of first two equations k1 into k2. Suppose I have got a plus b giving a c plus a d. As you may have got this is equal to k. It has got equilibrium constant is equal to k. If I reverse this one a c plus d giving c a plus b then what is the k1 for this is equivalent to k1 for this equal to since the equation is reversed you will be writing the reciprocal remember suppose after reversing equation has been multiplied by some number say assume 2c plus 2d giving a 2a plus 2b in that case what is the k2 is equal to this will be equal to all the equations reversed, so it is uh, with respect to the initial reaction, first reaction reversed, and the number is multiplied, n is equal to your entire equation. So it is always to the power n. Remember, it becomes power. Whatever number you multiply to the equation become power. In this case, uh, k to the power 2 square become. If it was n is equal to half, then it would have become k to the power 1 by k to the power 1 by 2. Okay square root of k2 clear read this question there is a reaction a plus b giving c plus t all our gases here b are mixed in a vessel at a constant temperature t initial concentration a was twice the concentration of b once the equilibrium reached concentration c was thrice the concentration of b calculate kc for this Okay, so let us write the equation A plus B giving us C plus D all our gases. Okay, I will be taking three rows here. Initially, we are going to take a number of moles. Concentration of A is twice that of the B. Twice. Let me take, if I take one, concentration of B is equal to one mole, then it will be two here. We don't know. So let it be in general A. If B is equal to A concentration, then A will be equal to 2 times A. Initially, C and D are not formed. Now, as the reaction proceeds, E and B decompose as C and D is formed. Now, see the ratio in the balanced equation. 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. If X is decomposing, because you have 1 is to 1 ratio, X decomposing, I will write minus, disappearing. C and D are appearing, right? So, 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. Reactants are minus, products are with a plus. Ratio would remain the same. X is known as the degree of dissociation. 
Now, what is important for this is the last step. What is remaining at the end? Or what is formed? So, 2a minus 6. This is a a minus a. So, add the columns, students. Okay? And x and x. Is this fine? So, this is very important for us in the question. Also, the given concentration of C. What is the concentration C we have got? Concentration is the x here in this case. Correct? But they are saying that try the concentration of B. What is the concentration of B? Concentration B is equal to A minus X. So they are telling that concentration C is equal to thrice the concentration of B. So X is equal to 3 times A minus X. So which is the X is equal to 3A minus 3X or 4X is equal to 3A. Or uh, therefore, x term is equal to in terms of 3a divided by 4. So, x can be expressed in terms of concentration a. Fine. Now, we will proceed. So, kc would be equal to, I want to write down the case, right? kc would be equal to concentration c into concentration d divided by concentration a into concentration of b. Correct? Huh? Right? Volume is not mentioned, so volume is not mentioned means volume is equal, uh, it is equal to 1 liter. So, number of modes, last step from the last video, number of modes, x into x divided by 2a minus x and a minus x. Okay, fine. But we know, what is x? 3a divided by 4 into 3a divided by 4 whole divided by 2a minus x 3a by 4 into a minus x a minus x is equal to 3a divided by 4 on simplification of all these we'll end up with the i'll write the final answer so we'll get we like uh, a 1 9 a square divided by 5 a square and those square a square get cancelled so 9 final it will be 9 by 5 so that is equal to 1.8 okay Hope this is clear to you. This is kind of problems are very important. Right? See the second question. The value of Kc for this equation has been given. So, this Kc is equal to 400. At a certain temperature, is 400 given. Calculate the equilibrium constant for, the, for these two equations. So, here see this equation. Now, this equation is exactly reversed of this first one. So, let me take K1 is equal to. If it is the reversed, with respect to standard equation, it is 1 by Kc. Just reversed. And uh, the number of moles are not being changed. So, it is a 1 divided by Kc value 400. So, this will be equal to 0.25 into 10 power minus 2. See the second equation. Second equation has not been reversed. It would remain the same. Let it be K2 is equal to. Equation not reversed, it remain 1 by Kc. But number of moles have changed. What they have done to the first equation, I mean original equation. Original equation, what done is uh, they are multiplied by half. Correct? Half. Multiply half into 2, it become 1. Multiply half into 2, it is a uh, 1. So they multiplied. What is the n factor here? Half. So whatever number is multiplied, that become the power. So 1 divided by 400 to the power half. So, it is equal to square root of 400. Um, sorry, equation not been reversed, right? Equation not been reversed. So, it is a Kc itself, but to the power half. Clear? Equa if the equation is reversed, reciprocal. Now, equation not reversed. So, it remains Kc only, but numbers multiplied half. So, to the power of square root of 400. So, that is equal to 20. Right? Please do like, share and subscribe RD Chemistry and please support me. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.